Oh, guys, look, here we go. Perfect. Shinia Gara Caterpillar. She's trying to go to sleep. How close are you gonna let me get with my phone? Hey guys, David Fine from Keys Mods. I'm here with my boy Lorenzo. We are here just at a little place on the side of the road catching some fish. And I noticed something, you know me, uh, even while we're fishing, I'm always looking for bugs and I found something very interesting. Uh, something that uh, is a very, uh, you have to keep your eyes open, all, always. Uh, my buddy Eric's gonna throw a net. Eric, can you throw a net? I figured why don't we get bait fish in eight minutes and give them one. Okay. Okay, he's gonna throw in that real quick. That was a that was a pancake right there, bro. Pancake. That was a pancake. Did you get bait? Let's see. Oh, I see bait. What do you got? Yeah, these, are, these are little guys. I All think. right, we'll take them. Well, there's a shiner, dude. Look at the shiner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, dude. Look at the shiner. Two shiners. Get them in, bro. Get them in. Woo! Okay. Huh? All right, we're gonna get more. All right. So, guys, here's the deal. Um, yeah, we're fishing. But um, I'm always got my eyes open for uh, what kind of cool bugs, butterflies and moths are here. Lorenzo's got a bait. Cichlid. Nice little cichlid. Yeah, that's a nice little bait fish right there. All right, so he's got a little bait fish. Um, but guys, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, let's see what we can find over in this weedy field. I'm going to show you a really, really cool moth caterpillar. Check it out. Put him in the bucket, dude. That's a that's a bait fish. That's a shiny. Put him in the bucket right there, right there, right there. Oh, perfect. Okay, shinies. Shinies are nice and dude, nice shiners, dude. That's some uh, peacock bass bait right there. Yeah, in a month or two, those would be nice and big. All right, while they're fishing, guys, I'm gonna just come over here. We're looking in. This is just like literally the a weedy bank of a canal or actually a little lake over here in an abandoned golf course. And uh, Lorenzo's got more bait. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, but what we're gonna do, you always look to see what kind of plants are here on roadsides. And because if you know what host plants are, uh, you'll be able to find bugs. So guys, right here, there's all kinds of host plants. You just need to know what to look for. So here's some some of these little composites, I don't know if they're a host plant for anything. I'll bet they are. Oh, actually, look at the assassin bug on the top of that. I know it's a nectar flower. I don't know if it's a... Guys, that right there is an assassin bug. What this guy's, what this guy's doing, he is waiting for a butterfly to come to this flower. And he sticks his proboscis in him, paralyzes him, and then sucks his juices out. So, pretty cool. You just got to kind of keep your eyes open, guys. But... Uh, Bi Bidens obviously are a good nectar source here in South Florida. They are the host plant for um, the dainty sulfur, Nathalus ioli. And so there's plenty of that. Uh, it's a little cloudy and it's late in the day. It's almost 7 p.m. Uh, so probably no butterflies flying. However, guys, let's get right to it. This plant right here is a plant called Gara. And if there's a little pink got a little pink flower on it. Let me see if I can find one that's blooming. Uh, well, the blooms on this are not open, but it's a little, it's a real spindly plant. Uh, very, very spindly plant. And it kind of branches out. You can see how there's the middle of the plant and it's branching out all over the place there. And it has these really long branches that come out. And so they, they spring up in the, <laughs> spring up in the spring. They pop up in the spring. Oh, there's a dainty sulfur flying around. A couple of them. See, if you have the host plants, guys, if you have the host plant, you're gonna get the butterfly. There's a dainty sulfur right there. That is a tiny, tiny butterfly. So that's a dainty sulfur, Nathalus ioli. That's the butterfly that eats uh, caterpillar host plant is Biden's, the shepherd's needle, so. How close is he gonna let me get with my phone? 
Well, it's late in the day. He's probably going trying to find a place to sleep. But you can see him floating around the grass. That's pretty cool. All right, but, but the Gara, this plant here, well, actually, I don't think that's it. It's a spindly plant. It grows up here in the grass. It actually likes areas that are mowed because it grows really quick. So when they, when they mow this bank, all of the Gara pops up real quick. So, so the thing about this plant Gara, guys, this plant right here, it might not look like a whole lot, but this plant right here is actually the host plant for an absolutely stunning, stunning moth. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to find caterpillars, only in the springtime. I haven't seen them in the summer or fall, but in the springtime, if you see this plant popping up, you can find some really cool moth caterpillars. Check this out. All right, so this is our Gara plant. It's got a little pink flower, and it's, these are that's not the best example of the flowers. But guys, let me show you, let me see if I can find some of the caterpillars on this plant. There is a moth called the Shinia Gara. Guys, here's one right here. Check it out. This is a littler guy. Probably a third instar caterpillar. But guys, that right there, cute little caterpillar. They feed on the blooms and seed pods of the Gara. And this moth, guys, I'm gonna show it to you because I'm gonna I'm gonna raise these out and I am going to show you the moth. You're gonna, it's gonna knock your socks off. It is a bright, bright pink moth. Oh, while we're sitting here. Look at this butterfly right here, guys. Look at the but look at the blue. Serranus. Hemiargus. Hemiargus serranus. Is it gonna focus? Focus. Focus, there it is. <laughs> Hemiargus serranus. It's a that's a female. She's trying to go to sleep. She's trying to go to sleep. All right, well, we're not here to look at blues. We are here to look at moth caterpillars. So guys, let me see. Oh, guys, look, here we go, perfect. This guy right here is a full-grown, final instar, Shinia Gara caterpillar. Beautiful, beautiful caterpillar, guys. Uh, very camouflaged in with its backgrounds. And guys, I am going to take some of these guys home with me and I'm gonna raise them out and I'm gonna show you the life cycle because this is a stunning, stunning moth. It's a small moth, less than an inch wingspan, but man, it's it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna take some of these home. Um, and let me see if I can find any more. So that's two, um, looking more, for more. Let's see, oh, here's another one, look. Right there, guys. There's another one, he's eating the flowers. See how they eat the flowers right there? Just like that. Yes, like that, he's eating the flowers right there, guys. Excellent. I am totally taking these guys home with me and I'm gonna show you a beautiful moth. Let me see if I can find any more. Yeah, look at this, guys. This this plants have caterpillars all over them. So you guys, you just gotta know what to look for. You gotta know what plants to look on. You gotta know what host plants are. Here's a big one, look. That guy's practically full grown and uh, he'll be a moth very, very soon. So, so guys, I'm gonna get back to fishing with my son and my friends. Uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Stay tuned for the Wacky Worms video on Shinia Gara flower moth, a noctuid moth, beautiful pink moth. Uh, guys, beautiful moth. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share it with all your friends. We're going to show you all kinds of stuff on the butterflies and moths of South Florida. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Take care.